Have you ever wished your AI assistant could seamlessly access your work files? Or that your code editor could share your project context with an LLM? Today we're exploring the Model Context Protocol, or NCP. So what exactly is NCP? Think of it as a universal translator for AI applications. Right now, most AI tools like Claude or ChatGPT exist in their own isolated environments. But with NCP, we can create standardized connections between these AI systems and your local tools, files, and resources. Now let's peek under the hood to understand how NCP actually works. NCP communicates through four main types of messages. Requests, when one side asks for something. Results, successful responses to those requests. Errors, when something goes wrong. Notifications, one-way messages that don't need responses. Looking at this diagram, let me walk you through how the model context protocol works in your computing environment. The main box represents your computer. At its heart, on the left side, we have a host with NCP client. This could be Claude, an IB, or another AI tool you're actively using. What makes MCP powerful is the connection pattern. See how the host connects to multiple MCP servers, labeled A, B, and C. Each connection uses the standardized NCP protocol, shown by the arrows. Each server has a specific purpose. Servers A and B connect to local data sources on your computer. These could be your files, a database, or other personal resources. The beauty here is that your data stays on your machine. Server C demonstrates MCP's flexibility by connecting to web APIs, which then access a remote service over the internet, shown in the smaller outer box. This architecture solves a fundamental problem, how to give AI tools secure standardized access to your information without compromising privacy. Think of it as giving your AI assistant the right keys to the right rooms, rather than handing over your entire house. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more videos on emerging AI technologies.